Imagine this familiar scenario. You have a paper to write. You go to the library's website, use an article search engine to research your topic, and look for articles that could work well for your paper. Some articles you can download or email right away, but for a couple, you can only see an abstract or summary. There is no full text. Why is this happening? This short video is about that why. First, who are the people and organizations who make up the chain of links that allows you to get the full text? There's the publisher, the content provider companies, and the technology companies that provide the infrastructure for building and hosting databases. Then there's the library that pays for the subscription and the university or city that funds that library. Second, what links all these people and organizations? Contracts and money. An author signs a license agreement or contract with the publisher. The publisher contracts with a content provider. The content provider contracts with libraries, and libraries have implicit contracts with their users as either students of a university or residents of a city or town. When there's no contract at any of these points, you don't get full text. Sometimes this happens because the publisher or database company asks for more money than the library can afford. And sometimes the library chooses not to subscribe because the subject matter of the content does not fit well with the needs of the institution. For example, a theater school may make chemistry on stage, but they probably won't need a lot of articles about chemistry. Those are two common reasons, but there are others. Here's a flowchart of how this ecosystem works, a big picture view. There's you, the student. You are either enrolled at a university or a resident of a town. That gives you the right to use the library of that university or town. The library subscribes to databases of articles and books managed by content provider companies. The content providers negotiate contracts with the content editors, usually called publishers. Publishers, in turn, have contracts with the actual content creators, the authors, and researchers. And everyone has to buy services from tech companies for software, hardware, and internet access. That includes you, if you use the library resources from off-campus sometimes. And things can get more complicated. Some bigger publishers bypass the content provider companies and contract directly with libraries. But when any one of these links isn't set up correctly, or isn't there, well, that's when the ecosystem turns into a tangled web. When all contracts are in place, the bills are paid, and technology connections are working properly, you do get your full text. This is just one part of the business of information. Copyright, intellectual property, and open access are other aspects of it. If you're interested in learning more, please start up a conversation about these topics with a librarian.